fought a lot of big fights, but I think this is um what maybe the biggest. Now boxing is all about who you're in there with, what kind of names, and it doesn't get any bigger than Roy Jones. He's a very tough challenge because um he's a strong puncher. Oh, it's something that you know makes somebody I believe more worry about me, and um and he should be come March 21st. I don't care what he did to Glenn Johnson. Styles make fights. It's cool you beat him, but I gotta do what I gotta do. Omar, he want a shot. He want to build a name for himself. So he'll take this gamble. Oh, it means everything to me to fight a legend like Roy Jones and to be able to um, go in the ring and uh, hopefully beat him. It means everything to me. He coming to win, and he'll take a fight like this because he needs something to help make up for all the uh, shortcomings he's had in his career. I have a point to prove. It's like a Rocky movie, and I'm here to do, to do the same thing that Rocky did. Got the eye issue handled pretty, pretty, pretty timefully. I'd have had enough time to go back and still catch Calzaga again. Uh, he knew what I knew, and with all the blood in my eyes, no way I could even finish the fight. Still showed I got the best heart in the business. Yeah, I'm good, and I know I can't see out that eye, but so what? I'm gonna fight. Let's go. Let me go. I got nine more rounds, ten, eight more rounds to try to still get him. I want my shot. But I mean, I put him down first. Uh, so I still got it. Well, he still has um, certain things um, as before, but I don't think he has it as good as he did before. So I'm going to use that for my advantage. And I like to go in there and I like to um, make it a fight. And hopefully he, um, he'll feel the same way too. So it'll be an exciting fight if he does that. He's a knockout puncher. And like I said, he knocked down fighters that me, Bernard Hopkins, or Tarver twice. None of us put Glenn Johnson down. Even the kid that they think come along now that's going to be the next successor at the weight division, Chad Dawson. He really didn't even beat Glenn Johnson and won't fight him again, but Omar did beat him. So it's telling you that I don't take no light, no light opponents or try to take them easy. I want the best, you know what I mean? But that's just how I am. Well, I'm gonna get him into the position where he's gonna have to fight me, especially here being at his hometown. I'm sure he wants to put up a fight. I know I'm sure he didn't want to see him running around and, and going in circles. They want to see a fight, and that's what boxing fans are looking forward to, and um, that's why I'm gonna make it. See how good I look against Omar, they're gonna be fight some bigger names, but they're not gonna be the bring up here because they're not they're gonna feel like they gave up home court advantage. Most top-notch fighters, well, said not notch but top name fighters, are not gonna wanna fight me in my home turf. It's way better than fighting overseas, I'm sure, so you know I don't have to go across the, the pond. So it's here in the US from Florida, so I'm looking forward to them make them hopefully hit up Pensacola fans backing me up too as well after the fight. My last three or four fights, I've only saw progress. And um, with Joe, even I understood what went wrong. And like I said, the cut did hinder me a little bit because had I had my sight, he'd never made 12 rounds for me. But you know, it's all good. It happens. You can't cry with the You gotta give him keep moving. And I ain't gonna let that stop my progress that I've been making. I'm mean, instead of climbing back up that ladder, and I'm gonna keep on going up that ladder until I get to where I wanna be, and I call it a day. I mean, starting has a. 20-year-old, and Andy here has a 40-year-old, that's a 20-year span. That's a heck of a span, I mean, if you go back and think about it, who'd have thought 20 years from now I'd still be able to come down here and fight in the Pensacola City Center? Mm -hmm. Opportunities happen and you know things happen in life and I think everything's meant to be. You know somebody that I looked up to coming up and um, to be able to um, go in there and fight them is something to be privileged. I'm just gonna have to fight my fight. I'm in the best shape I possibly can get myself into and um, go in there and do what I do best. And I believe if I do what I do best and um, I'm injured free and healthy, I believe I can walk away with a, with a victory. I can't press the call easily. It's gonna be some real, real static in the edit, like trust me.